Hey, what's going on guys? It's Whittall. Welcome back to another video. Today we got some blackout gameplay for you guys. Uh, not the craziest gameplays, to be honest with you. These are these are clips actually from the first few nights I played. And uh, I actually did that on purpose for this video. I didn't want to put anything too crazy in there because I actually have a few videos being made right now um, that are being edited that are actually meant to show off gameplay. This is more so just a recap on what I've been doing with Blackout for the past few weeks and uh, where I'm at in the game and what I really think about it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, right off the bat, yes, I'm max level in Blackout. Uh, really fun doing that. Uh, I didn't just play obviously to max level it. I actually played because I love Blackout. I, I love Battle Royale and I love Call of Duty so match those two together. Obviously I'm going to be playing it a ton. Uh, I have four days played right now. I still play it consistently. I haven't played it for the past day because I was playing multiplayer and zombies but that is also for another video discussion. Uh, but right now my thoughts on Blackout is it's a very good base. I think it's a really good game. Uh, but it has a lot of issues and a lot of things I really think they need to address soon. Otherwise the game may fail uh, in the coming months. Uh, biggest thing off the bat I will say is the leaderboards. Uh, I hit max level about a week after the game came out. And that's pretty, that's pretty impressive in my opinion. It's really hard to rank up in Blackout. I played four or five days straight. Like just... I slept minimally, I just played it like crazy because I've been waiting for this for a long time. I really enjoy Call of Duty and this this game actually compared to the past few Call of Duties in terms of like, you know, tactical stuff and the way it plays and how it feels, it's a really good COD compared to the past three or four that I've played. Uh, so obviously I'm going to grind it. Now, like I was saying, the biggest disappointment for me is the fact that I'm level 80 right now, but the only people that can see that are people on my friends list. Nobody else in the world can see that unless I'm running the battle hardened character or I'm running the title that you get, the animated one, for hitting level 80. The leaderboards in this game are super whack. You, ca you can't see anything except for the wins, and it's only your friends list. You can't change it globally, and that's very disappointing. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, that was the first thing I, I really didn't like about it. The second thing I did not like at all was the fact that the only thing that you get for hitting max level, besides the title, is the uh, the character, the battle-hardened character. And in my opinion, I feel like there should have been a lot more because, I, like I said, I hit it in a week hitting max level, but that's because I play abnormal, abnormal hours, like crazy and insane hours. And uh, for the normal player, once they hit max level, you know, they're probably going to be thinking to themselves, man, like, what am I going to get for this? Like, some some pretty cool hidden titles, maybe maybe some new challenges, maybe some secret stuff that no one else has besides the character. But no, you just get the character and a title card. And, uh, you know, I guess we have to come to expect that. I, I was really hoping that, you know, since it's being Treyarch and, like, all the cool stuff and the hidden Easter eggs they always have, you know, you would think maybe there'd be some cool camos for a gun, maybe, or, so, I don't know, something like that, but there isn't, but, uh, let's hop into, uh, PlayStation right now and check out my actual stats, and, like, I'll show you guys in depth of what you get for hitting max level in Blackout. All right, guys, so here we are on Blackout. You can see I got the level 80 star next to my name. I have the battle-hardened character, and I have the cool animated calling card up here. That's all you get for this. Uh, it's not like it's terrible. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, though. I'm not a big fan of the character. Like He, he does look pretty cool, but at the same time, he's kind of generic. Kind of got that toolish douchebag look to him with the muscle shirt and the tattoos around his arm and like the the ammo around his neck with the, like, the sunglasses. I don't know. I just get that weird like wannabe Navy SEAL douchebag vibe, in a sense, from it. I, I don't know. That's just me. But I only run it because it's the only way people can see your level 80 in-game. Uh, if you go over here, I can show you the example. Uh, we go to my stats, go to the leaderboards right here, and you can see solos, duos, and quads. If you click any one of them, you can only see your friends list stats. You can't see global leaderboards. I can't see what I'm ranked in the world. I'm obviously number one against all my friends here. Um, but in terms of the world, I, I would love to see where I'm ranked, like I was saying earlier. But I can't do that, so that's kind of a letdown. Uh, like I said, the only thing you get for doing this, like hitting max level, is the, the calling card and the character. I will say, however, I really wish that this icon right here with the three skulls and the gold wings, I really wish that was the icon next to my name instead of the star. I don't know why this is in the game if you can't even see it next to your name right here. Uh, kind of disappointed with that, too, to be honest with you. Uh, as you can see, my stats, because I know people are going to talk about that, too. I got 97 wins. I have a 4.8 KD, and I have a 19% win-loss ratio. Uh... Those stats were a lot higher. I had like a 6-7 KD. I had a 25 win loss, but I really was trying to just hit max level, so I sacrificed gameplay. I, I was rushing in trying to get kills, not playing the smartest. Uh, I do care about stats, but in this sense, I know my stats can be better. Uh, they're not terrible. These are actually really good stats in my opinion. Uh, but like I said, if I was really playing for stats, I would be playing hard and like being playing really, really smart and not going in uh, like crazy like I do. But the, I'm a very aggressive player. 
So these are my stats being aggressive. Uh, I will say though, 423 meter snipe. If anyone's got a longer snipe than that, please link me because I, when you guys see the video I have going up uh, with some of my crazy clips, you see how far the snipe was. I didn't even get the kill for it. I downed the dude because he was so far I couldn't even finish him. Like, it was actually nuts. I could barely see him. Um, but I would love to see if anyone's got a further snipe than this because so far I have not seen one. But I would love I would love to see if, if anyone does because I, I think sniping in this game is one of the funnest aspects. I really enjoy you know the bullet drop and having to time your shots and stuff. But uh, we'll get into that into another video. But yeah, these are my stats and uh, this is pretty much that's pretty much all you get for hitting max rank in uh, Call of Duty Blackout. Alright guys, now that that rant is out of the way, I hope you guys went on to enjoy this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. Also, let me know what rank you guys are in Blackout if you're playing Blackout. And if you're not playing Blackout, let me know what rank you guys are in Multiplayer or Zombies. Very interested to hear about what you guys think about the game as a whole. I think personally that every aspect of this game, all three, Multiplayer, Zombies, and Blackout are very good. Uh, multiplayer is not my favorite, but at the same time, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I think this game overall will be amazing if they add a lot of things that they should have already been in the game to begin with, but even if they don't, which I'm sure they will, we do have a pretty good year of COD compared to the past few years. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below. This win right here is, I just thought it was really cool how I won this. So hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, thanks for stopping by.